Ще се нахрати! Insane footage of close combat through a forest strip on the left bank. Ukrainian Marines are giants. Чисто нахрати! A column of Russian Blyatmobiles attacking Ukrainian positions of the 5th Assault Brigade near Klishchivka under the guise of smoke. One BMP-1 in the Blyat configuration hits a mine and burns down. Russia plotting sabotage across Europe, writes the Financial Times. European intelligence agencies warn that Russia is planning violent sabotage acts across the continent, committing to perpetual conflict with the West. They have started actively preparing covert bombings, arson, and infrastructure damage on European soil, showing little concern for civilian casualties, intelligence officials believe. Russia now seems comfortable carrying out operations on European soil with a high potential for damage said Thomas Haldenwang, head of German domestic intelligence. Acts or attempts at sabotage are already taking place. Two German-Russian nationals were arrested in Bayreuth, Bavaria, for allegedly plotting to attack military and logistics sites in Germany on behalf of Russia. Two men were charged in the UK in late April with having started a fire at a warehouse containing aid shipments for Ukraine and accused of working for Russian government. In Sweden, Security services are investigating a series of recent railway derailments. Russia has attempted to destroy the signaling systems on Czech railways, the country's transport minister told last month. In Estonia, an attack on the interior minister's car in February and those of journalists were perpetrated by Russian intelligence operatives, the country's internal security service has said. These pinprick attacks we've seen so far are of course to create disruption, but they can also be used for disinformation. And then there is what Russia learns from these attacks if they want to immobilize Europe for real. Their practice runs, said Keir Giles, senior consulting fellow at Chatham House, 
the think tank. Breaking. Shoigu's deputy defense minister, Alexei Krivoruchko, implicated in the embezzlement of $22 million intended for body armor. FSB and investigative committee opened a criminal case. And following the arrest of Shoigu's deputy, Timur Ivanov, Russian military correspondents speculate that Alexei Duman might replace Shoigu as Russian defense minister and Surovikin might be appointed chief of general staff instead of Gerasimov on May 7th. That would be a twist. We cannot allow Ukraine to fall. Hakeem Jeffries, U.S. House Minority Leader and leader of the House Democratic Caucus, did not rule out sending U.S. troops to help the armed forces of Ukraine. We can't let Ukraine fall because if it does, then there's a significant likelihood that America will have to get into the conflict. Not simply with our money, but with our service women and our service men. We can either stop Russia in Ukraine by continuing our military and economic support, or we can face a challenging situation where Vladimir Putin and Russia are able to overrun Ukraine and then threaten NATO allies. No doubt that that's Putin's goal. We have no doubt that if Vladimir Putin is successful in Ukraine, he won't stop. Russian media report that the UK ambassador in Russia was called in by the Russian Foreign Affairs Ministry and warned that the response to the Ukrainian strikes using British weapons on the territory of Russia could be against any British military facilities and equipment on the territory of Ukraine and beyond. Russian Foreign Affairs Ministry also summoned the French ambassador after President Macron's statements about the possible sending of troops to Ukraine. French Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs stated that Paris did not send soldiers of the Foreign Legion to Ukraine. In Kyiv today, during a funeral for a fallen defender, people stepped out of their cars and knelt in respect. Goosebumps. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.